Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you what you get in your Dyson Complete Kit. So this will be a list of all of the different items that you get, all the different attachments and also how they work. So the first thing that you get in your box is the main component which is the Dyson Airwrap itself. So on the Dyson Airwrap you have your filter at the bottom. This actually comes off and you have your casing. I'll go into this in a little while because there is actually an attachment that you use to clean the filter with, so I'll be able to show you this. The other things with the Dyson Air Wrap is that you get these different buttons on them. So you've got your buttons to show you the airflow and also the heat. So with your airflow, there's three different settings you can have it on. So there's low speed, middle speed and high speed. And then you've also got your heat, which you can have it on low, middle and high. These all change depending on which attachments you use so it all depends on what you're doing to your hair to have which settings. Um, the other button that you have here is your on and off which when you turn it on it's the centre and when you're cooling you actually press up and that will turn your air up cooler again and then when you turn it back down that's off so it's really really easy to use. With your air wrap, if you don't have any attachments on, you can then see where the airflow comes out of. And when you put your attachments on, if you need to take them off again, you simply just press this button down at the back and it will release that attachment. So this is the main body of the air wrap. So just to give you kind of an idea of what the main body looks like. So the first attachment that you get in your box is the pre-drying tool. So this pre-drying tool is essentially a mini hair dryer. It's not as strong as the Dyson Supersonic, so if you have a Dyson Supersonic, that is incredible because it's gonna give you the quickest drying time. Um, this is still a lot quicker than your average hair dryer, um, but it's not as quick. If you have a Dyson Supersonic, I recommend using that to pre-dry your hair, and then this is great for holidays. If you don't have a Dyson Supersonic, then you definitely need to use this because you're going to be causing heat damage with an alternative hair dryer because of the fact they're normally about 230 degrees or anything like that. So yeah, normally about 180 up to 230 degrees and hair actually melts at 230 degrees. So using your pre-drying tool, you know you'd be below 150 degrees and you're not going to be causing that heat damage to your hair. So with your pre-drying tool, it has actually got directional airflow. So your airflow comes out of this little area here and that directs it onto the hair to keep it a lot smoother and shinier. That's another benefit of the pre-drying tool. So this is really, really handy to have in your kit. The next attachments that you have in your box are the barrels. The first set of barrels that you have are the 30 millimeter barrels. These are really good to create a tighter curl that gives you more of that ringlet curl, which you can then brush out to be softer. And these are really good for shorter hair types too, because that'll give you more of that curly look, whereas your bigger barrels are gonna give you more of a beveled look. So 30 millimeter barrels, one for each side. So you've got your left and you've got your right. And these are really, really handy. So with the 40 millimeter barrels, these are amazing for longer hair to give them more of a bouncy blow dry look or if you have shorter hair it gives you more of a flicked out look. These are really really beautiful and create such soft movement. Um, it all depends on what you want your hair like but these ones are really really good for giving you a beautiful movement um, and also more of that bouncy curl rather than a tight ringlet curl. Another attachment that you get in your box is the soft smoothing brush. This one is recommended for people with finer hair types and people who are prone to breakage in their hair just because of the way that the bristles are. They're really soft and really flexible so they're very gentle on the hair. This one I really really like for me personally because my hair is shorter and finer in texture um, and it feels really really gentle on the scalp. This is really good to get your hair really straight and smooth. Um, so you literally just brush over the top, underneath and over the top, and this will get your hair really shiny and sleek. The attachment next to the soft smoothing brush is the firm smoothing brush. So this is designed for thicker hair types and it has a little bit more tension so it will get it a little bit straighter and smoother than what the soft smoothing brush will. So this one has the toughest bristles 
just to make sure it can get through really unruly hair. So if your hair naturally has curl to it, then I definitely recommend this one. So this one is your firm smoothing brush. With the two smoothing brushes, they are very, very similar, so you'll get a similar result. It is more particularly on the hair types that they're being used on. So if your hair's finer, I would recommend soft and smoothing brush. Whereas if your hair is thicker and more curly wavy, I'd recommend the firm smoothing brush. Your final attachment will be your round brush. So with your round brush, this is really nice to give you that flicked out beveled look and also to give you height and volume at the root area. You can get this right in and bring it up and round and it will give you that root lift. So your round brush is mainly for root lift and volume. If you have very, very short hair to about here, then you can create a really nice bevel or you can just flick out your ends if you want to with this brush as well. This one doesn't contain Coanda effect, which is where it automatically wraps around for you. You do have to do this manually, but the result is really, really pretty. The attachment that you get in your box is your, are you ready? Filter cleaning tool. This box gets hidden at the bottom of your brown case, so please do look for it. It's very, very handy to clean the filter of your air wrap. So I will show you how to do this. So you take this off, unclip, and you can go over the top of this one just by twisting. What you would do then is place this in warm water for 30 minutes and make sure that the rest of the remaining dust falls off. So this is really, really easy. And then what you would do is take your filter cleaning tool Pop it over the cable, twist, and get rid of any remaining dust on the main filter. So, that's nice and clean. With your filter casing, I recommend leaving that overnight to dry out to make sure that you don't have any remaining moisture on there just for safety of when you pop it back onto your air wrap but once it is completely dry you can simply clip it back onto your air wrap and it'll click into place so nice and easy you've got the two little dots just to align it to make it a bit easier for you so yeah that would be your filter cleaning tool that you get at the bottom of your box a really handy thing that you get in your box is your registrations form you don't have to send this registrations form out, you can do it online as well. So what you have to do is simply fill out this form here. So it's just your email, your title, your first name and your last name. Also the date you purchased it, so this would be your error, your postcode and also the country that you purchased. And then also you can sign up for exclusive offers and deals, which is really, really cool because then you'll be able to find out about the latest technology with Dyson. So then you can extend your personal care range and know that you've got the best equipment out there. You also have to pop in your serial number just to make sure that they know which product is yours. The serial number can be found on your Dyson Air app, So it's actually found on the cable. So this is where the serial number will be, it will be on a little silver tag just like this you need to put in the um, bottom box of your registration form. If you alternatively don't feel like you want to post your details in a post box, that's absolutely fine. You can go onto the Dyson website where you just can just pop in your email and create a password. This will create an account for you to store your Air App into. Registering your product through Dyson, this just means that they're able to help you if you get stuck with anything or have any issues at all. So those are the main components in the Dyson Airwrap box. If you have any questions about anything at all, please put a comment below and I'll be able to help you out. Thank you for watching.